Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it's been a hot minute. I was so sick with a sinus infection. I'm feeling a whole lot better. I'm glad I was able to recover from that because yeah, it was just brutal. I still have a little scar. There's like a pink spot on my nose that you'll see. Um, I had like a scab or a little sore there from the sinus infection, but I'm glad it's over with and I am back to serve you guys some lip swatches. In this current time we're in, I know you guys are looking for a bit of an escape. So here I am and I am about to show you guys the new gloss toppers from LA Girl Cosmetics. So I got these at Ulta and I'm just going to quickly read the description here or the details of the product. So it says that you can wear them alone for a soft shimmery effect or as a lip topper over any color, over any lip color for an instant iridescent transformation. So it's a color shifting. It says the color shifting holographic pigments reflect light for a stunning finish. So without any further ado, let's just see how light shifting these are. They come in these four colors and yeah, so these are all gloss toppers and we will be swatching these so you guys can see how they turn out. Well, the first shade that I want to try, this one is called, okay, so this one is called Starlight. It has like some blue sparkles in it as well as you shift it and as the light reflects it in different angles. Um, they actually smell really good as well. So how have you guys been? I know it's hard not to want to bring up the current situation, but guys, it's... I feel like a lot of people are not taking it seriously. It's like, if you're told to stay home, please stay home and don't be selfish. You know, and think that especially the younger people, young people these days think they are invincible, but at the same time, you're going out and you're bringing things back home to your family members the elderly people in your family and how much more selfish can you be if you don't care about anyone but yourself. I like this color. Mm. I know everyone's in a panic, but I think we just need to be calm, you know, and stop buying out all the toilet paper. It's very unnecessary. Also, I cannot feel the glitters in these, so that's a major plus. I also feel like the formula is just a tad bit too... Um, yeah, I don't like that very much. It's like starting to collect at the edges in like a gross kind of way. Um, don't like that very much, but we're gonna move right along. Okay, so the next shade up here is called Magical, and this is more of a hot pink holographic color. And I like the squeezy tube. It's just so easy to apply it that way. This is Magical. So what are you guys actually doing while we're all locked up? Honestly, it's not a big deal for me because my husband and I, we pretty much are homebodies and loners together. <laughs> we rarely ever like socialize just because that's not like our character. And we just enjoy each other's company. So it really doesn't affect us really. So it's just like a regular schmegler day or week for us. It's it's something normal. 
um, so it's not really affecting our social life because we have no social life. We just have each other and our dogs, of course. Um, so yeah, we it's just like a regular week for us regular day each day some people are just social butterflies which is fine but we don't put ourselves in that category compared to the first one starlight i think yeah magical definitely shows up a little bit more by itself and i think i do want to test this over a lipstick so um i am gonna try that out at the end of the video just to see how it looks because i'm curious um yeah, the first one was just a little bit more translucent or more sheer, I would say. And this one, there's a little bit more of the color that comes through, which is really nice. I can work with this color. Oh my gosh, look at my pink nose. All right, next shade up is called Flashing Opal. And this is another beautiful purple shade. Mm. I am so confused because the formula for these feels so great. It's so smooth and creamy and Yet, I don't understand how it's doing what it does at like the sides of my mouth. It's like, how do you do that? Like, it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that, but see what it's doing? That I don't like, but it doesn't feel heavy on my lips, so I am so confused as to what's going on here. It's leaving like a residue. Um, at the sides and if it's doing that now it's gonna be worse later on you know what I mean so I just hate that I just hate when there's that residue right there in the corners of your mouth it's so disgusting um, and I think that's what's gonna happen with these unless you do wear it over a lipstick maybe um, that will prevent that from happening which I doubt but um, I don't like how it's doing that, but I love, I love the formula. I am so conflicted right now and I have no idea how to fix it. None whatsoever. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Kaleidoscope or is it Kaleidoscope? I don't know. So for the record, these are all a sheer translucent formula and it's just the glitters that are different colors. The only thing that's different about them is the color of the glitter, but they pretty much are all translucent. This one might be a little bit too Halloween-ish for me. <laughs> Just my first reaction, I feel I feel like it's a little bit too out there, like straight off the bat. It's definitely not a color in my comfort zone. It's given me Ice Queen Halloween type of vibe. So out of all the colors, I think this one I would less likely wear. This one is my least favorite out of the bunch because yeah, it's it's blue. So the last part of this swatching, I want to actually apply this over a lipstick. So I'm gonna try and find one of my nudist looking lipstick that's near me and apply that real quick. These also leave your lips feeling super moisturized, so props to them and bonus points. Because I actually do like the way my lips feel right now. They 
definitely have moisture on them and it feels they feel a lot more supple and plump so I do like that feeling anyways um, let me find a lipstick here oh I have a mini one right in front of me um, this is Urban Decay's Keep Tame it's a sheer not so sheer um, so it's a mini lipstick. I did a video on this like a while back. Um, this smells like honey, by the way. And I've used a lot of it. It's a mini, but I've used a lot of it. Oh yeah, that smell. It smells so good. And it's super moisturizing. Okay, so I think this will work and I'm not sure which color I should use I think I should go with this one just because it was the most muted color from the bunch see it's still doing it Ugh. It's still doing it. It's so annoying. Um, and I feel like this will just get worse the longer you wear it. It's going to give you that residue and I can't stand that. And granted, this is like a creamier lipstick. So that could be the reason why it's still doing it. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same with a matte lipstick. I don't see why it would be different because it's just a topper. So it's just going to be sitting on top anyways. So I feel like I'm still going to get the same effect with a matte lipstick as I do with a creamier lipstick. It's just a topper guys. It's just sitting on top. So why would it be any different if you get where I'm coming from? So yeah, it's just super annoying that it's doing that. But anyways, I do think the lipstick kind of overpowered the shimmers in this one. What if I put another color on top? Okay, okay. Okay, let's do the pink one. Let's do this one. Let's see what's gonna happen. Hold on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 ugh. Yeah, that was not cute. I had to take that off right away. That was a mistake, so don't do that, no. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's causing it to do that. I like the formula, but it's... When it's applied, it just does weird things that I will not put up with in public. No way, Jose, it's not happening. No. So, but um, yeah, so these are the shades. I do like the applicator of them. I like that it has the angle tip for easy application around the corners of your mouth. I think that's pretty neat and it's a squeezy. It can't get better than that. So super easy to use, super user friendly. The scent is really nice. It's not overpowering at all. It's just a nice subtle scent that does go away because right now I am not smelling anything. So I like that it's not super perfumey, which is a turn off for a lot of people. The only difference between them is the shimmer colors. So do you have to go out and purchase all four of these? Absolutely not. That is not necessary. And they're very affordable. So that's an, another positive for these. Um, if they don't work out for you, you're not going to lose a ton of money. It, it has a lot of positives, but then it wears very, very weirdly. There's something going on with it once you put it on and I am not here for it. So I am kind of conflicted with these just because of that. And that might actually limit the number of times that I wear this. 
So if you guys have bought these and you've experienced the same thing, then let me know in the comment section below. But that really kind of disappointed me because I do like the formula, but it's it's doing weird things that I'm, like I said, I'm not going to put up with that. No way. Nope. Nope. But that's my review, guys. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more swatch videos like this from me. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to stay inside, stay safe. Don't be congregating in areas. Don't be gathering. Don't put your families at harm. Stay safe so we can get over with this crisis. I want to wish you guys good luck and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.